When his only son is captured by hunters, a grizzly bear has to leave the forest and enlists the help of a spy dog to go after his enemies. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Super Bear, from 2017. Da Sha is a brown bear who lives with his cub in the forest. Unlike his father, young Shi Ha, as a friend of all animals and loves an adventure. While swinging on the vines, the little one ends up being thrown into a tree, but luckily he doesn't get hurt. After scolding the cub, Da Sha calls his son home and Shi Ha reveals that he misses his mother. The little one doesn't know that the bear has perished, so he has never accepted the fact that she will never come home again. To try and cheer the cub up, Da Sha gives him a jar of honey, but the container is destroyed by a gunshot. Luckily, no animals were harmed and, when he realizes that there are hunters on the loose in the forest, Da Sha quickly flees with his son. During his escape, he ends up falling into a trap and gets stuck inside a hole. The bear then sees Shi Ha being taken away and tries to climb over the wall to rescue him. However, Da Sha can't climb up and has to look for another way out to reach the human's vehicle. After a few minutes of intense pursuit, the bear finally manages to find them and sees his son being put on a train. Immediately, Da Sha uses his claws to grab onto the wagon, but ends up slipping and falling onto the tracks. During the fall, the bear is injured and is unable to continue the chase. Distraught, he sits down on the tracks and hears another train approaching. At that moment, the animal doesn't think twice before getting on the vehicle and hitching a ride to go after Shi Ha. As he sleeps, Da Sha dreams of the day his wife perished. She was surrounded by hunters and decided to jump off a cliff to avoid being taken. To this day, Da Sha is haunted by this memory and has promised himself that he will never let anything like this happen to his son. In the morning, when he wakes up, the bear realizes that he has ended up in a lumberyard and sees the vehicle that took Shi Ha driving a few meters away. He immediately runs after the van and follows the scent of the cub. Upon arriving in the city, Da Sha sees countless humans walking the streets and realizes that he will have to stay hidden so as not to attract attention. However, after slipping on a banana peel, the bear ends up in the middle of a parade and is lucky enough to blend in with the many people wearing animal costumes. During the parade, Da Sha sees a child about to fall from a tower and decides to save him. To prevent the boy from getting hurt, the bear uses his own body to cushion the fall and is applauded by the locals. At that moment, Da Sha meets a spy dog and asks for his help to find his son. The dog then reveals that the cub was taken to the Shu Wang Company, which operates an illegal market in rare species. These criminals imprison all the animals in a warehouse, but no one knows where this place is. Agent Hun Ta says that he and his guardian have investigated countless times, but have never found enough evidence to send Xu Wang to prison. Fortunately, a few days ago, the pair found the location of the warehouse, but Hun Ta reveals that getting in will be a very difficult mission. Even so, with his technological equipment and Da Sha's extreme strength, the dog believes he will be able to rescue the cub and all the other animals that have been trapped in the warehouse. Upon hearing Hun Tu's plan to get all the animals out of the criminal's clutches, Da Sha refuses to follow him and claims to be able to save Shi Ha alone. Meanwhile, the hunters are trying to find a solution to deliver a panda cub to Mr. Shu Wang. The problem is that what they managed to find was a grizzly bear cub, so the solution was to dye the little animal's fur. While walking through the forest in search of his son, Da Sha is surprised by numerous traps that have been set by Hun Tu and his guardian. When he realizes that he can't even dodge those amateurish traps, the bear comes to the conclusion that he will never be able to save his son without the help and training of the dog. Throughout the week, Hun Tu helps his new friend acquire the skills of a real agent and teaches him how to act stealthily so that the humans don't see him. After using paint to turn Shi Ha into a panda bear, the hunters take the cub to the warehouse, where they have gathered many animals of different species. As the guard locks the little one in his new cell, the other animals join in to terrorize him and the man flees in terror. At that moment, the cub realizes that the human has forgotten to lock the door to his cell and manages to get out. While walking through the warehouse, Shi Ha meets Tai Hu and Ye Ye, who become his new friends. After putting on his technological armor, Da Sha accompanies Hun Tu to the warehouse and they both cross a cliff to reach the warehouse. When he arrives at his destination, the dog destroys the security alarm while his bear friend beats up the guards. Da Sha is then caught by another security guard, who is startled to see the creature and ends up injuring himself with his own stun gun. During a conversation with Shi Ha, the tiger reveals his plan to free all the animals in that cage and enlists the cub's help to put it into practice. In an attempt to pass himself off as human, Da Sha steals the uniform of one of the employees and manages to go unnoticed by the rest of the team working in the warehouse. While they are going up the elevator, Shen Shi and his henchmen arrive at the prison and the driver accidentally runs over the bear cub. Seeing the panda collapsed on the floor, 
Shenxi despairs because he knows that Xu Wang will punish him if any of those creatures are missing from the shipment that will be delivered to his client. At that moment, the henchman gets up and takes the bear on his lap, then they both discover that the cub is alive and are extremely relieved. While being taken back to his cell, the little one steals the card used to open the doors and waits for the pair to leave to free himself. When he finally arrives at the place where his son is being held, Da Sha tries to use the card in his uniform pocket to open the door, but discovers that the employee doesn't have permission to enter the animal warehouse. At this point, a group of criminals approaches and unmasks the bear, but they are unable to defeat it, as Da Sha is much stronger than all of them. To help his friend get rid of those humans, Hun to throw some bombs in their direction and manages to knock them down. While the duel is going on outside, Shi Ha uses the card to free all the animals from their cages and starts a real rebellion. After defeating all the guards, Da Sha waits for Shen Shi to arrive and attacks him to steal his card. At this point, the bear manages to open the door, but discovers that this is not the storage room he was looking for. All the animals in the room are already perished and stuffed. Furious, Da Sha begins to destroy everything around him and, after knocking over a shelf, he discovers the truth. Hun Tu's intention was never to help rescue his son, but to save his guardian. A few days ago, the pair broke into the warehouse and almost managed to save the animals, but the dog ended up being captured. Agent 502 managed to save his dog, but was caught instead and became a prisoner of the criminals. After days trapped in that place without food and water, the man has lost consciousness and can't get up. When one of Shenxi's henchmen opens the door to the right warehouse, all the animals manage to escape and end up running over some employees during their escape. While running with the other animals, Ye Ye is caught in a net and Shi Ha returns to help him. Just then, the guards approach to catch them, but are attacked by the wolves. Furious at having been tricked, Da Sha decides to leave to find the other warehouse where his son is being held in. As he walks through the corridors, he comes across a crowd of wild animals on the run. As he is wearing an official's uniform, the bear is mistaken for an enemy and the animals try to trample him. Not even Shi Ha is able to recognize his father. Mr. Xu Wang is in the warehouse to check his merchandise and notices the escape attempt, so he orders his henchmen to lock all the doors to make it impossible for the animals to get through. Just then, Hun Tu appears and calls Da Sha to run away, because he knows that if he stays there, the bear will end up being captured along with the other animals. However, he refuses to abandon his son and says he will keep looking for him. Hearing his father's voice, Shi Ha runs to meet him, but the two are separated by the dog, who throws a light grenade to disorientate the bear. Hun Tu then uses a rope to pull Da Sha in the opposite direction and they both narrowly manage to escape. But instead of following the dog, Da Sha decides to stay behind and try to open the door to find Shi Ha, as he doesn't trust Hun Tu's word. When the dog hears the staff approaching, it attacks them and lures the humans away in an attempt to protect the bear. During his escape, Hun Tu is almost hit by tranquilizer darts and has to come up with a strategy to get rid of the hunters. Seeing a large number of cages stacked up next to them, the dog throws a rope over one of the bars and knocks the cages down on top of his enemies. Hun Tu then flees into the forest. Meanwhile, Shen Shi goes to report to his boss and Xu Wang orders his subordinates to use tranquilizers to lock the animals back in their cages. When he realizes that his plan has failed completely, Tai Hu feels guilty and tries to help Shi Ha open the gate so that the cub can meet his father again. While looking for a way out, the giraffe spots a vent in the ceiling and suddenly numerous gas bombs are thrown into the room. The purple substance causes the animals to fall into a deep sleep and now Da Sha is the only chance they have of escaping. The bear is in a battle with the officials and bravely resists, but Shen Shi manages to hit him with a tranquilizer and then a group of men use a net to capture Da Sha. When he wakes up, the bear is tied up and encounters Xu Wang. The criminal then orders his henchmen to arrest him along with the other fugitives, but on seeing all those unconscious animals, Da Sha becomes furious and attacks the humans. However, as he approaches Xu Wang, he is attacked with a stun gun and faints. Before leaving, the gang leader orders Da Sha to be taken as a gift to the buyer who paid for all those animals. After filling the truck with the cargo, the criminals drive to the train station and dispatch the containers. During the journey, the animals wake up and Shi Ha helps Tai Hu reassure his friends, who are distressed because they don't know what will happen after they leave their cells. At that moment, the cub sees his father being taken into a cage and calls out to him. Although he doesn't recognize his son's new appearance, Da Sha recognizes his voice and tries to escape from the cell to rescue him. Suddenly, the cage in which the bear is being held breaks free from the transport trolley and ends up in front of a truck. After being run over, the cage is broken and Da Sha manages to free himself. While trying to open the container, the bear is attacked once again and has to flee from the hunters. Determined to get rid of the animal once and for all, 
Shenshi runs it over and tries to smash it against the truck. However, his plan doesn't work out as expected, as Da Sha manages to free himself and throws the vehicle at the humans who are trying to hurt him. The bear then runs towards the train in order to get into one of the wagons, so that he can free his son. His only obstacle is to survive the attack by Shenshi and his men, who are willing to do anything to eliminate him. After climbing onto a crane, the bear becomes an easy target and has to jump onto the roof of the train to avoid being captured. Furious, Shenshi orders his men to chase Da Sha and not let him escape. Inside the train is Mr. Xu Wang, who decides to deliver the animals personally to his client. The villain is putting together a jigsaw puzzle with the skeleton of a snake and is furious when his work is interrupted by one of the henchmen, who has jumped on top of the train in order to arrest the bear. At that moment, Xu Wang looks out of the window to find out what's going on and comes across Da Sha. The bear is hiding on the side of the train so as not to be seen by the employees and doesn't even realize that their boss has already found him. As Xu Wang goes to pick up his rifle, the grizzly bear manages to take down one of the henchmen and hits him with his own weapon. Believing that there is no longer any hope of being saved, Shi Ha feels totally helpless and convinces himself that, just like his mother, his father has abandoned him. When he notices the cub's sadness, Tai Hu assures him that he's not alone, because all those animals stuck on the train are now part of his family. When he hears this, the little cub smiles again and suddenly he hears his father trying to get into the wagon. After breaking down the door, the bear reveals that he heard the whole conversation and thanks the animals for what they did for Shi Ha. After freeing them all, Da Sha takes his son in his arms and hugs him, relieved. The next mission will be to defeat Shu Wang and save the animals trapped in the other compartments, but now the bear is not alone and can count on the help of his new team. After obliterating one of the guards with a sharp blow, Da Sha clears the way for the tiger and the rhinoceros to get on the train and runs with them to the next carriage. On the way, the group is surprised by hunters who use nets to capture them and the rhino ends up being caught. At that moment, the bear runs towards them and manages to get rid of the humans who are trying to eliminate him. While trying to stop Shenshi, the little panda ends up being captured and Da Sha goes after him. The problem is that he is now surrounded by henchmen armed with tranquilizer darts and has to use a plank of wood as a shield to avoid being hit. Meanwhile, the tiger and the rhinoceros manage to break free and attack the humans. When he spots Shenshi with his cub inside the wagon, the bear takes the dart that was stuck in his arm and pierces the human's neck. He then rescues Shi Ha and Shenshi faints under the effect of the tranquilizer. While unconscious, the man ends up falling off the train and into the water. Relieved, Da Sha hugs his son, believing that now they are finally free. Just then, Xu Wang appears with his rifle and takes the family prisoner. In an attempt to escape, the two bears climb up onto the roof again and encounter other humans who are trying to hunt them down. Once again, father and son have been surrounded and this time they're about to be shot. However, before either of them could be shot, a police helicopter approached and attacked the criminals. Terrified, Xu Wang and his gang try to escape, but are pursued by the agents. To help his tutor apprehend the criminals, Hun Tu springs into action and uses his special suit to fly towards his target. Just then, Hun Tu approaches and makes up with his bear friend, who thanks the dog for coming back to help them. Suddenly, the driver begins to lose control of the train and, just ahead, the vehicle goes around a bend. Seeing some bandits approaching the wagon, Ye Ye and the other animals take the opportunity to facilitate the work of the police and trap Xu Wang's henchmen inside a cage. Meanwhile, their boss starts a fight with Agent 502 and ends up being defeated. However, when he is about to be handcuffed, Xu Wang uses the snake venom he keeps in his ring to immobilize the policeman and steals his jetpack to escape. Seeing the criminal about to get away with it, Hun Tu decides to go after him while Da Sha and his son try to separate the cargo wagons from the main wagon. During the chase, the dog's suit is hit and he is about to fall when he comes up with the idea of using a rope to hold onto Xu Wang. As he is being pulled down, the criminal's jetpack begins to fail and they both fall together into the forest. After separating the wagons, Da Sha has to hang onto the metal structure and pull out the pin that joins the two couplings. The problem is that, after doing so, the bear can't climb back up and asks for forgiveness for having to part with his son once again. Shortly afterwards, the train has an accident and Da Sha falls off the bridge along with the first carriage. During the fall, Hun Tu's suit works again and he is able to fly again. However, Xu Wang still hasn't managed to connect his jetpack and ends up falling when the rope holding him to the dog breaks. Worried about his bear friend, Hun Tu immediately goes to look for him and is relieved when he discovers that Da Sha has managed to save himself. After fulfilling their mission, the dog and his guardian are promoted in the agency where they work and given the title of wildlife protectors. As for the bears, they were taken back to their forest home along with all the other animals that were rescued. 
So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.